Full Moon 2.0 and a very long Void Moon, kids. Red Robe Astrology for January 26th. This is an epic wave of energy, and it continues today because the Full Moon took place at 5 degrees of Leo, which means we've got the Moon moving through 25 more degrees. Today is very much Full Moon uh, uh, as much as yesterday. In fact, there's more friction today than there was yesterday. You know, the Full Moon also squared Jupiter. I didn't talk about that in my article yesterday. I wanted to focus on Venus. Venus and Jupiter in a trine, the hopeful geometry. Besides, the Sun and Jupiter peaks today. So this is part of what makes this whole full moon very over the top. Sun and Jupiter in a square is really about overinflation. You can be excited and have urges to grow and explore and move. It's a yummy sort of sense anytime Jupiter's in the house. But a square, that hard geometry makes Jupiter shadow show up. So overinflated, you know, opinions, being confident but too confident seeing thing, something valuable that will lose its luster tomorrow. So <clears throat> it's an over-the-top day from that. There's some edges to Mercury and uh, Venus as well. Mercury squaring Chiron, so we're definitely either thinking about talking about or being demanded to consider the wounded spaces. Venus in a Seska square with Uranus is also a tiny bit over-the-top. Intense social excitement, unusual displays of feeling, unconventional behavior, a little bit of rebellion in the heart. Now, these two Transits aren't particularly rough on their own, but put them together with a sun square Jupiter, you've got a very over-the-top day, kids, and it's a full moon. And that full moon will hit a void at 1.19 p.m. that will last till 11.11 tomorrow. That's a long void, the whole second half of the day. So, you know, voids want quietude, planning, stillness, and, and, and rest, and inward-focused uh, uh, stuff. And the energy today is just so big, brought it over the top. I think that void could be quite uncomfortable. Uh, be as still as you can. Don't start anything new in the second part of this day. Wait till the moon moves into Virgo, where the full moon will be over, and we're in a couple of days of process and integration. Have at it.